Hello everyone and welcome. At long last, it's finally here. It's the O3B Empower satellite launch. Now it's the first in a series of upcoming launches that will take our 11 O3B Empower satellites into space. And as the journey of O3B Empower unfolds, we'll be experiencing all the excitement firsthand from Cape Canaveral, Florida. In a matter of days, our first O3B Empower satellites will shoot into space on board a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. Now, O3B Empower is the most innovative non-geostationary system ever built and is based on the proven success of our current O3B MEO constellation. So what makes this system so special? Well, O3B Empower will bring high performance connectivity to the most remote places around the globe giving individuals, businesses, governments, and communities the freedom to communicate just as if they were in a major city. O3B Empower provides data throughput and network latency at levels previously impossible without significant infrastructure investments. With built-in network intelligence, it will be the most flexible satellite communication system ever built, able to adapt to changing network conditions, keeping our customers' networks future-proof. The best part of this satellite launch is that we want to take you on this journey with us. So over the next 20 minutes, we'll take you behind the scenes of what has been years of preparation and innovation, all driven by one goal, to reimagine a connected world for everyone, everywhere. Let's start at the beginning. What is O3B Empower? Well, O3B Empower is a game-changing satellite communication system that is designed with scale, flexibility, and performance in mind. By operating in medium Earth orbit at 8,000 kilometers from Earth, businesses, governments, and institutions can leverage this next generation MEO system to deliver high-speed connectivity services for their operations. It is capable of relaying multiple gigabits per second to anywhere in the world. And this is essential for applications like 5G networks, high quality streaming, video conference calls, or even online gaming, where performance is so important. With O3B Empower, services that were previously unavailable to the underconnected and unconnected will now be a reality. To better understand the impact of O3B Empower, let's hear from SES's CEO, Steve Collar. Thanks, Christina. Great to see you all. Listen, I'm so excited to be talking to you about O3B Empower as a project that we've been working on now for five years. But really, it's in the context of, of something that's very dear to us at SES, which is connecting people. O3B is a reference to the other three billion. And that's the other three billion on, on the planet today who are not connected to the Internet. And that means not access to education and healthcare and being able to run a business and connect with friends and family and engage, take pet part in the world's sort of marketplace. And Empower is about empowering you, about empowering our customers and you know everyone on the planet to use this fabulous tool that we've built. Steve Jobs talks about the human race being, we're a race of tool builders and we build tools in order to make life better. And that's what we've done with O3B Empower. We've created this incredibly powerful tool that's gonna operate space, in space, that's gonna make life on earth better. And what does that mean to me? I think, what does it mean? What does a connected world mean? It, it comes down to the very basic level of every time we connect a town or a village or we improve um, access to information, access to the internet, we, we make life better. And that inspires us to, to build this fantastic uh, tool to, um, to get up every day and, and make it better and deliver for our customers. And you don't have to take that from me. We've got people all over the world right now building the O3BM power system. The satellites are being built on the west coast of the US. They're getting launched from Cape Canaveral where, where space and satellite all began. Um, they're gonna be operated in Luxembourg. They're gonna be, be managed by a fantastic team in Romania. And they're gonna be delivering connectivity from Latin America to North America, across Europe, Africa, India, and Asia and into the Pacific Islands. So it could not be more of a global project. And 
fantastically excited that you now get to hear from some of the brilliant SESs that are building the system right now. I've been part of the uh, O3B MEO journey for the past 10 years. I celebrated a, de a decade in, at SES uh, last month. And when I joined this journey, it was really around how do we basically go and help bridge the digital divide, how we can deliver connectivity to pretty much everybody uh, on earth. And we, we help communities to, 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 to have access to things we take for granted every day here. Uh, and I'm really happy and emotional to see us, you know, doubling down on that mission after the success of O3B, launching the second generation of our system uh, and continuing to service, uh, uh, you know, everybody around the world with, uh, you know, great connectivity uh, and helping them grow and, uh, you know, and develop. You know, the O3B first gen was sort of my baby and, and we always had plans to enhance it and improve it. but. This is beyond where I thought we would ever get to, and uh, it's it's just such a deep, meaningful um, puzzle to solve and and project to work on. So uh, it's it's hard to put into words, to be honest. I'm really excited. O3 Empower is an opportunity to create something new. Uh, the satellites bring new capabilities that are unlike anything we have today. Uh, and so, you know, building the systems and the processes and the team that goes with that is a really a, a rare opportunity to do truly creative engineering. So I, I think it was uh, really, it was and it still is a uh, really uh, great opportunity to be part of this because it is uh, an, a game changing uh, system and it is a completely new concept of operating satellites. And for somebody who, who loves uh, satellite communications and, and telecom systems and especially also space uh, systems, this is, uh, this is an, an enormous opportunity to be able to help to bring this to life and to uh, enable this uh, great system that is completely configurable and programmable and uh, will be operated in a way that no satellite system has been operated before. To me, it has meant uh, to be part of this project, to go from just dreaming about a system like this one, to actually working to build the dream of Empower uh, for this fully digital being formed satellite system. So, it's been really special. For me, it has been it's, it has been, you know, uh, leaving the SCS vision of, you know, doing incredible in space and, you know, uh, connecting that with, you know, how can we be amazing, connecting the dreams of people. So it's like tying SCS vision into my day to day working and that's being amazing, like connecting that dot and you're leaving that vision day to day in delivering O3B Empower. Now. Let's take a closer look at the different ways O3B Empower will transform how we work and communicate. O3B Empower is changing the concept of satellite connectivity by enabling flexible, high-performance networks at scale. And this is really important for certain industries that operate in really challenging locations. Take the cruise industry, for example. Listen as our customer, Carnival Princess Cruises, shares how O3B Empower will enhance their operations. Well, welcome, John. It's been a long time since we've seen each other. It's great to be together. Hey, I couldn't be more pleased to be with you, and it's great to have you here at Port Everglades in the Caribbean Princess cruise ship. We know that it's been a challenging time, but I know, knowing your team, that you haven't been idle. I know that you've been working on the best experiences for your passengers when they come back to start sailing. So what's been going on? What can passengers expect? What's this new experience that they're going to get when they come on board? Well, you know, we started creating the Medallion Class experience for Princess Cruises back in 2017. And during the COVID pause, we actually completed the Princess Cruise fleet. So every ship has a Medallion Class experience. And the central hinge pin of the entire Medallion Class experience is MedallionNet, which is our fabulous connectivity that we created in partnership with SES. Just how important is connectivity to some of the passenger services that you enable? Oh, connectivity is beyond fundamental. You know, there's one thing to call something important and critical and fundamental, but now it's actually beyond fundamental. Because what we did for the first time with MedallionNet was create land-like connectivity. And not just the speed is great, but the reliability is so fundamental to transitioning your entire operation from a offline operation 
to an online operation that is fully synchronized with the cloud. And people thought we were insane to suggest that we could have cloud services on a cruise ship because that was always thought to be structurally impossible. But how do you see it? How do you see this journey into this next stage? Uh, I couldn't be more excited about Empower because it's been in our collective plan for now well over three years. And 10 years ago, maybe a cruise ship had 10 megabits of service. Five years ago, 50 was still significant. We killed that with MedallionNet and took it really typically over 400 megabits of service or, or more to a cruise ship. And now with Empower, we're going to cost efficiently move into gigabyte service to a cruise ship. You're talking about powering the intelligence that is literally millions and millions of data points a day that we're running in our global operations centers with a mobile platform like a cruise ship, which is enabled by the service. So, you know, the service for the guests, amazing. But when you think about transforming your business operation driven by intelligence that's also relies on empower because you can't do that with latent information it has to be in the real time you what we're talking about here is the world's first truly smart cities you know everyone likes to claim smart buildings and smart cities but at the end of the day a cruise ship is a self-contained city it has every service so whether you're talking about safety or health or the hotel uh, casinos, uh, recreation, spas, all of those experiences are now completely online. And so when you fully connect every product, service, and experience on a unified platform, fuse that with connectivity, it's essentially unlimited, the services and experiences you can give, all unique to that individual. And the impact on the crew I wanted to mention is these crew members live on these ships for months at a time and so our connectivity is fundamental to their life's greatest moments. We're actually changing lives on a daily basis not just the folks on vacation but the uh, crew that are delivering these services to our guests. As you know two heads are always better than one and that applies to building, launching, and operating a satellite constellation ranging from satellite manufacturers right through to antenna partners. For a program of this magnitude, SCS partners with some of the coolest and brightest names in aerospace. With just a few days to go until the planned blast off, you can bet the anticipation is well beyond its peak. From the manufacturing plant to the control center at the launch, O3B Empower's journey to space has been extraordinary. Let's take a look back at where it all started, with the O3B Empower testing and integration program carried out at the Boeing Manufacturing Facility in El Segundo, California. Behind me, you'll see the first two 702X satellites being built for the O3B Empower constellation for our customer SES in Luxembourg. In this facility, we start by integrating and testing our satellite platform. Once we have completed the integration and testing of the satellite platform, we bring in the payload, which leverages the advanced integrated payload array technology developed for the 702X and being first employed on O3B Empower. The payload and the platform come together under this roof, then goes through a very rigorous environmental test program to ensure that the satellites will survive both the uh, strenuous mechanical environments of the launch phase, as well as the environmental challenges and rigors that uh, are experienced in the space environment. Hey, welcome everyone. I'm Brian McCaffrey. I'm the O3B Empower Dynamics Lead, and I'm one of the engineers in charge of the sign vibration testing. We're in the vibration room, and we're setting up here to run the O3B Empower sign vibration test. We got the launch vehicle adapter already on the table and getting ready to shake things up. This test is critical. Anyone who's seen a launch knows that the journey to space is anything but smooth. It's a very violent, dynamic ride all the way from the launch pad up into space. All the forces that happen have to be simulated here before we can approve the launch. Our largest shaker tables can actually put out 50,000 pounds of force uh, it's quite a lot of force, especially dynamically. It's enough to simulate just about anything a rocket can throw out. Well, we actually vibrate in up to three axes, X, Y, and Z, to cover all the bases. We do a range of different intensities. You know, we're doing this to verify both the, the soundness of the design and the quality of the workmanship. 
O3BM Power has actually 11 satellites. Uh, we're stacking them, which is unique. And we got 11 satellites coming through, starting with this next one. And eventually all 11 will see either sine vibration or acoustic vibration before launch. The vibration test for the sine vibration take anywhere up to 10 days and followed by acoustics, which is a day or two. As soon as the satellite uh, finishes the test, we put it through a range of functional testing to ensure that the uh, satellite still functions as designed after surviving the full, full shaking of launch. So as you know, not many of us have been in space, but from all the movies that we've watched, we know that the temperatures can be extremely hot or extremely cold. So the thermal vacuum chamber that we have here simulates the environment that the satellite would see when it's up in space. So it simulates the heat from the sun, uh, also the coldness and vacuum of space. So the thermal vacuum chamber uses a liquid nitrogen system to reach uh, the super cold temperatures, and then we add heating elements that go around the satellite to provide this infrared solar heating. One of the things that you'll notice about the 702X MEO satellites being used for O3BM power is the size. The O3BM power satellites are quite a bit smaller. This is due both to the high level of integration enabled by the advanced integrated payload array technology, as well as the need to launch multiple satellites at a single time. Once they've achieved their desired uh, initial orbit, those satellites then separate from the launch vehicle one at a time and go through an electric propulsion orbit raising phase to achieve their final mission orbit, at which point service can begin. So thank you for joining us on this monumental mission. We hope you have a better understanding of what O3BM power means to satellite communications and its impact on the world at large. Most importantly, don't forget to set your clocks and alarms to watch the first launch live. And that's it from us for now. Thank you for joining us on this O3B Empower journey. Hey everyone, wishing a successful launch day for O3B Empower. And a speedy journey into space. Go get them O3B Empower. Let's go, SES. Let's go. Hi, SES. Vamos lá. Let's go. Good luck, SES. We're so excited to watch O3B Empower make it all the way to the stars. You say yay! So yay! <laughs>